if one day you're in the street in France and you hear some tiny children sing vous to their grandpa, probably they're a descendant of kings and queens, who knows? Welcome to another edition of video blog posts brought to you by Glossika. I'm Mary and I'll be your teacher today. You might know that there are two ways to say you in French. Tu and vous. But do you know when to use which? Tu is only used to address one person, while vous is used to address one or more people. However, vous is also used as a singular second person pronoun to address one person. In this case, vous is much more formal than tu. The difference between tu and vous comes from the time when there were still kings and queens in France. A king would use tu to talk to a peasant, but a peasant would use vous to talk to a king to show their respect. In French, you generally say tu to people you're familiar with, like your friends, family or children. Nowadays, in some families, grandchildren will still use a vous to talk to their grandparents, to show that they respect them a lot. But in most families, you would use tu talking to your grandparents because you're close to them. But some children that likes to make fun of their parents, they would use vous to show that they're a bit annoyed or making fun of them. So for example, you would say à vos ordres, which means okay, captain. Vos ordres is using the vous form. Normally, you would never use vous with your parents. À vos ordres, à vos ordres. If you are inviting a friend to your home for coffee, then you would say, tu viens chez moi prendre un café? Tu viens chez moi prendre un café. Tu viens chez moi prendre un café. In some professional context, you would use tu to your colleagues at work, unless you're speaking to someone of a much higher rank or the relationship is very formal. You also use vous at an interview, with new business contacts, and in bureaucratic situations. If you're applying for any kind of a position, whether it is for study or work, you would use vous in your letter of interest, as seen as the standard sentence in the end of formal letters. Veuillez agréer, madame, monsieur, l'expression de mes sentiments distingués. Veuillez agréer, madame, monsieur, l'expression de mes sentiments distingués. In school, it is more common to use vous when addressing a professor, and professors also use vous for students. This begins in France when children attend lycée, their high school. Before that, students use vous to call their teachers while they're themselves addressed as tu. Being addressed at lycée as vous is a bit of a rite of passage, rite de passage, indicating that students are entering a more adult environment and taking on responsibilities such as studying long hours for the baccalaureate exam. Remaining on the formal side usually shows politeness, and if you are unsure about whether to use tu or vous, or if your degree of familiarity changes between you and another person, you can always ask, est-ce qu'on se voit ou est-ce qu'on se tutoie? Est-ce qu'on se vous voit ou est-ce qu'on se tutoie? Est-ce qu'on se voit ou est-ce qu'on se tutoie? This happens amongst French speakers regularly, as their knowledge of one another changes, as do their rank and the context in which they see one another. As you can see, whether or not to use tu or vous in a French-speaking environment largely depends on social context. Age and rank have to do with what to use, as well as formality versus familiarity. Knowing when to use which French pronoun is very important because it will help you through many social situations and keep you from offending your boss or confusing your friends. As with any aspect of language, it helps to be observant, listen carefully, and respond to one's environment, and that is always appreciated, no matter what social context you enter. Hopefully, from now on, you will know when to use tu and when to use vous. Please don't forget to like or subscribe, it helps a lot. If you're interested in more details, please visit the Glossika blog post, link in the description below. Au revoir!